this tutorial, we're going to study how we can do Johnson Neyman analysis in SPSS. Before going to the software, I'm going to briefly explain what Johnson Neyman is. As you can see on this screen, it has statement for linear regression model. And it has X, M, and Y. We can put these three variables into a figure to show that relationship. So that's the effect of X on Y, and such effect is moderated by the M. The question becomes that in what situation you can use Johnson Neyman? I, I put a table here. So in generally, Johnson Neyman is used when the M, namely the moderator, is a continuous variable. And so that's the, in general, that's the most case. You will see that the moderator is a continuous variable and you use Johnson Neyman. Okay, now we have the basic idea when we can use Johnson Neyman. But what's the, what's the main function of using that? That go to the, I need to use an example to explain that. I think that will be easier for you to understand the, that what's the purpose of doing Johnson name analysis. So suppose that X is a brain, is a categorical variable which has like brain A and brain B, and and then we observe that brain A and brain B are are different in terms of cell. So for instance, on the figure we saw that brain A generally have higher cell compared to brain B. So that's the basic effect X on Y. But important is that. On this figure, you see that there's a moderator called temper temperature. So the idea is that below a certain temperature, brain A and brain B, the cell number are not really significantly different. But beyond a certain temperature, we observe differences. That the brain A cell number is significantly higher compared to brain B. And that's where the Johnson Neyman comes in is that Johnson Neyman try to identify a cut-off line, namely this line in the middle that, okay, beyond this line is that is significant or not. So we can see that on this, on this figure, so that beyond a certain temperature, brain A and brain B are really different. But below that, brain A and brain B, that cell number, just pretty much the same. Okay, so we now have a basic idea about what Johnson Neyman is and when should we use that and what's the purpose of doing Johnson Neyman analysis. We're going to SPSS to see how we can do that using SPSS. So we're going to use the data. I will put the link for, to this data set down below in this video. Um, so we're going to focus on the X is we're going to focus on gender and the M, the moderator, we're going to use the social science score and the Y, we're going to use the writing score. So we have three variables here. And I'm assuming that you has the process, the medical setup you do not have. I will put a link down below and the setup is pretty straightforward. So click the analysis, regression process, and then you can put the gender. Okay, before going further, I need to explain that why there's a variable called gender dummy rather than a female. And you need to use a syntax. The syntax is pretty straightforward. I will put the syntax in a link. So this is the syntax. You need to create a gender dummy. Uh, so we can see that this is gender dummy here. It, the, data, the data file original doesn't have this variable. We need to create that by, by using syntax. You can use menu as well, but I find that in general it's easier just to use syntax to create variable. Okay, so we put the x, the x variable here, the y here, and then we also put the moderator here, and we use model one. And in the option, click the option as well, and you will need to click this. So generally the code for visualizing interaction, we're going to do some plot using this, uh, the output from this, this option. And also click the Johnson neighbor output, click continue and OK. It's going to take a few seconds 
So as you can see that this is an interaction. Interaction, the p-value is smaller than 0 0.05, 0 0.03, so it's significant. Okay, now it go to the another part of this output is the Johnson name. As you can see that the social science got mainly the moderator. So this is the moderator, and it shows that, okay, it shows the cutoff point, which is 67.4. So below 67.4, that the they, the if the p-value is significant, but beyond that, it's not significant. Okay, so you might, okay, I, you might say that I get a basic idea, but how can we have a better idea? In order to have a better idea, in generally, you need to plot the data. So this macro also generate some syntax for you to plot how the interaction looks like on a figure. So you can basically, you need to select this part and copy it and then go to the syntax window and then we are going to run this and it will show the figure so we can see that this line represent okay the one represent the um, i forgot one one which one represent what let me see the, the syntax so as you can see the one represent few male and zero represent male so one represent this is the few male this is a zero percent male so there are two lines and um, and then there's a cutoff point is 67.4 as you can see that this figure is very genetic and um, actually we can i mean use some some technique use some output from here to plot a better looking i mean as it looks better slightly better interaction using excel so this is with the figure that use some output uh, you can generate this figure basically you can see that this figure is, a, is a very similar to the figure the output from the spss the only difference is that we can like make it looks like um, that we can directly use in the report and you because you can also add some change some labels to make uh, more clear to the readers that okay what you mean by this what this figure means and also you can uh, cut all points so you can see that so this is a few this is male the solid light is male the, the dash light is a few male and so below this below the cut all point 674 the, the these two light the i mean this error is significant the difference between this the male and female significant but beyond that the that the male and female that that the difference is is not significant so this is what johnson neyman is doing it basically tell you a cut off point where that beyond be and below that that there could be some differences i mean you can identify two different areas one is significant one is not okay i think that's it for the basic idea about how you can do um Johnson name analysis in SPSS and I might have another short video to tell you uh, that how you actually do this plot in Excel but that's really another topic I mean I I will not I will keep this tutorial short not too long so thank you for watching and you find this tutorial useful please like this this video and also subscribe to my channel thank you